Welcome to the Windy City Bender Podcast with your hosts, Noli, Boatsy, and Jerem. Hey, hey there, everybody. I'll, I'll remember. Okay. Like, like I remembered our uh, writing fine question last time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hey there, everybody. Don't scream. <laughs> Why hey. So loud? Come on, man. <laughs> Hey there, everybody. Perfect. Thanks. So fourth time. <laughs> Episode 33, the Bifuglian. Uh, it is our playoff preview today. Woo. Woohoo. Um, we are wearing the same clothes. Because we're scum. Because we're scum. And we only wear the same clothes for a whole week. Yep. Absolutely. That's why I got a whole thing full of laundry in my trunk. And um, if you're listening to this on iTunes, we're not wearing the same clothes. We're, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. That was a lie. This is only for the this YouTube people. It was a bold yeah. face lie. So, okay. So, brackets are set. <laughs> uh, I am here. Sorry. I'm here with, uh, this is Potes. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm here with Noli. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here too. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's somebody else here too, bud. <laughs> uh, Jerem, no, I'm not. Jerem, no. dude, too. <laughs> dead. <laughs> dead. Oh, shit. So, hey. <laughs> um, playoff. It's, it's a playoff <laughs> preview <laughs> for, for the NHL, obviously. And right, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. <laughs> so, one thing is for sure the Western Conference is set it is going to be nashville versus colorado winnipeg versus minnesota vegas versus los angeles and anaheim versus san jose so let's start out with all the, uh, uh with the western all the wildcard teams made their uh, own division yes sir so good for them yeah. i guess or whatever that's what the nhl wanted division, no travel division rivals yeah no travel is huge yeah especially uh when you got all those kelly teams yeah in the mix yeah huge huge um so let's start. But yeah, uh, fuck you and your playoff bracket, NHL. I am. Uh, I thought you were talking to me because you were directly <laughs> at me. I was like, I didn't make it. I always stare at you when I talk. Gross. Yeah. All right. Um, that was a weird episode already. Nashville, <laughs> Nashville, Colorado. Silly season. Real silly season. Colorado just barely getting in uh, after their victory over St. Louis, which, by the way, the silly that Colorado had after they scored oh the empty net God. goal was yeah. fan freaking tasks. Yeah, McKinnon tweeted it out and it's just it's fucking great. And not who, only that, but it was uh Who was the last guy that jumped uh, in? Fuck. It started with an R. Um uh, Ristolainen? No. He's yeah. uh, he's a Buffalo. Uh fuck. It's it's right around the same name. Yeah, I know. Um, Rantanen? Rantanen, Rantanen. Yes. yes. Thank you. Um, yeah, <laughs> they're already all on the ground and he just Slow, like skates in, <laughs> stops, and just jumps and dog piles. Like they're fucking peewees winning nine yeah, championship. Absolutely. Like that was fucking, and it was great too because the announcer literally goes, "These are grown men. <laughs> <laughs> These are grown men doing this." That was funny. Yeah, that was awesome. Really so it was just men playing hockey. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, no, never. Um, but yeah, that was a fun game. Um, I'm glad St. Louis wasn't even in it. But um, yeah, controversial call. Yeah, with the offsides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that Instead probably the, was. It made and it the funny nothing. thing, too, is as they were looking at that replay, they went back to the offsides that happened back in, I think, October, mm -hmm. um, that the NHL issued an apology saying that they got it completely wrong. Yeah. So Against Colorado. That went in favor of Colorado over yeah. St. Louis. So St. Louis kind of gets screwed twice. And that I don't. That I mean, changed. Excuse me. I'm burping. It was, uh, that changed they made momentum. it 2 nothing, and it, right after that, they scored to make it 2-1. So it could have been 1-1. One, one, so, actually. yeah, if, if um, they take that away and St. Louis kills that off, it's a 1-1 one, one game. Well, not only yeah. that, but Colorado ended up with a power play on that, too. That's true. Afterwards. Yeah, I forgot about um, that. I still say it was onside. I don't know. It looked really it close. Was, I think it was so close. close that you couldn't yeah. change it, I think. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But whatever. Uh, fuck you, St. Louis. Yep, You're absolutely. Out of the playoffs. And um, – I don't give much props to Jake Allen because I think he can be bad often, but he was definitely was struggling hurt. from mid second period on and he battled through. I didn't mm -hmm. think he was gonna come out for the third, so yeah. good for him. And there was a lot of times where after the whistle he stayed down for a while yeah. and he he fought through it. Good for the refs too to kind of recognize that and give him a minute. Yeah. Um but yeah, that was awesome that it worked out that the last game of the season for Yeah. Was I for love when that's yeah. yeah. 
Um, I'm sure they were hoping that it would happen with the Hawks and the Blues with the back-to-back games. Yeah. But uh, it just happened that the Hawks ended up helping the Blues not make the playoffs. Yeah, a little bit. On Duncan Keith's second of the year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Number two. So. Number two. Yeah. Um, so. But, sorry. Colorado, Wait, after a big win, uh, has to face the beast that is the National Predators. Yeah, President's Trophy winners. Yeah. Um, Speaking of which. Have they always done that presentation? I, yeah, I don't. I was I don't thinking about that. that. I don't remember that either. I don't remember the Hawks doing that. No. I no. I they, thought that was they weird. did it after the game. They didn't do it before. Yeah, I know. But still, I've, I don't, I don't remember that. the Hawks ever doing that. Like they won last year, they didn't do that. They didn't win last year. President's Trophy? Yeah. Yes, they did. Hawks didn't. No, they went oh, first. No, in the no they West. won the, the Central. That's right. The last time they, they won, won the West the, was yeah, the did. shorter year. Yeah, thirteen. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't remember them doing that. Yeah, I don't remember any team ever doing that. Yeah, I don't know. That weird. was weird. Real weird. It was really strange. And fucking Yossi touched it. Yeah, that's like there's no superstition. In yeah, I don't think Nashville, that works. But oh, I'm like, um, I don't think that works that way. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, after uh, the uh, the Nashville no goal against Luongo. Oh, the oh yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody sent a dead catfish to Toronto, and said, "Fuck you." No shit. I swear to God, yeah, I right. saw it. Yeah, that's. Seen it. Take good it, for them. Take it down. Take it down. No, good yeah. for them. No, really? That's like sending fucking catfish to Jake Gensel last year in the final. Oh, my God. Oh, that was hilarious. Yeah, that I totally was forgot about that. That was great. Uh, sorry, I keep getting off track. No, you're fine. There's a lot of stuff going on. So Colorado's got to go to Nashville. Mm-hmm. And um, I Nash have a Vegas. feeling that they are going to get their peepees punched in. Yeah. They'll get one game, I think. I think they'll get, they'll get one at home. Yeah. If Ooh. that, it's going to go four or five. I don't think it's going much farther than that. No, I don't even. Especially yeah. since... I, I know he's played well, but uh, Jonathan Bernier got torched by Nashville last year in the playoffs. Yeah, it, it's against Anaheim. Oh, Anaheim. Yeah. Anaheim. I was thinking, I was like, what is it? Now? Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's just like <laughs> we were talking about yesterday watching the game. Like these two teams are so hyped up right now. Like, oh my god, like playing. This is the playoff, like first of the playoffs, mm-hmm. and it's like. Then you're gonna go. Oh, now we play damn, the Predators. Damn it. Okay. Well, that was fun. Yeah. I'll just remember that last game for a long time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's going up to Nashville first round. They're gonna be buzzing. Nashville's always buzzing. It's hard to play in that arena. Uh, those fans, unbelievable. Um, Broadway is gonna be going nuts just because yep. they were so close last year. Yep. Um, getting back into it, being the Presidents Trophy winners. Um. Yeah, I don't see Colorado standing a chance. Nashville's four and zero against them this year. Um, the only thing is, that I don't, I don't, I think they get swept. But then again, it's it's been four years since Colorado's been in the playoffs, and that barn was bumping. Yeah, it was. last night. Yeah, it was. They have some great fans in Colorado too. I'm very it's... interested to see how McKinnon and Landeskog do in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, they've been in there before. They played Minnesota four years ago. Was McKinnon, McKinnon around? Yeah, he oh, scored he a couple. Was. Oh, he scored he a couple that was big time goals. Year. Yeah. Yes. So he can he can play in the playoffs. Yeah, but. Yeah, I mean, he had a great year this year, yeah. and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see. And like you said, Bernier against Rene, it's that's no question. No, who's gonna win that? Yeah, but McKinnon stepped it up a whole new new level. We'll see how he goes. I mean, but Forsberg is playing unbelievable He's for Nashville a beast right, now. right now. Everybody, it's it's Nashville. They yeah. have the top. I they have the best core D in the league. Core in general. I mean, just defense, yeah. like just defense though, by far. Yeah. When you have Subban, you uh Ekholm, and Ellis. Uh, Ellis. And that's, then you have Rene on the back end. Yeah. That's, that's stupid. That's silly. so stupid. Yeah. yeah. That's like, dumb. And then you have just unbelievable scoring up front. And we yeah. were talking about it last episode about the Kyle Turris coming in. Yeah. Huge. Makes their, their depth down the middle yeah. way Absolutely. better. So, yeah, it's uh, it's almost an unfair advantage right now. Yeah. I, I, I got Nashville either four games or five. Yeah. No right more than there. that at all. Um, Winnipeg, Minnesota. This one is interesting. Wait, I, what you what you, Nashville? Nashville four, five. Yeah, four and five. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Winnipeg, Minnesota is interesting to me because they haven't played each other since January thirteenth. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, really? Winnipeg is three one and zero oh over Minnesota, and Minnesota is one two and one. Winnipeg, I think, is close to being just as big of a beast as Nashville this year. They. They have, I think, the best offensive club yeah, what? out of any team. Well, toss-up between them and Pittsburgh. Tampa. 
and Tampa. Those three, I think, actually. Because Pittsburgh's core is obviously unbelievable. The big but, thing um, is goaltending, I think, for Winnipeg. How's Hellebuck going to hold up in the playoffs yeah. pressure? Well, not only that, but Dubnik for Minnesota. How's he going to hold up? He always shits a brick. He always shits a brick. Mm-hmm. And not only that, they have the Babcock, fuck, or not Babcock, um, um, Boudreaux, Boudreaux effect. <sighs> So, I mean, you got to take that Plus, into effect. you know Winnipeg with home ice advantage. Oh, God. The whiteout? I am so... They are going to have some that fun place, in that arena. That's going to be... When it gets Winnipeg-Nashville second round, who, that's gonna, who has the better home oh ice advantage? God. I have no idea. Who? It's going to be a battle of of the fans. Oh, it yeah, is going to be 100%. It's such gold amazing. out versus yep. white out. It's a shame that that's a second round matchup. It really is. Matchup. It, yeah. That should it be the absolutely final. Is. Um, that that right there would have been the best conference final since the Hawks and Kings. Anaheim. Yeah, Hawks Anaheim twenty fifteen. Uh uh-uh. uh No, Hawks Kings in twenty fourteen. Yeah, I kind of thought the Anaheim one was no. better. No, you guys, guys like the Kings one better. Yeah, because yeah. that was the Stanley Cup final. Oh yeah, yeah. that's true. Anaheim could have lost to Tampa. Yeah, um, but yeah, Jets are fifth power play in the league, <clears throat> seventh PK, and third in goals for. Yeah, it's fear the beard. <laughs> Oh God! Fear the goat. <laughs> fear the Amish. <laughs> fear, Unbelievable. Just fear I just line love it. that. Yeah. Just fear line that it. that whole art of player Tribune article that he was mm-hmm. talking about was Amish. He's like, I yeah, swear to God, people said that I look Amish, but I don't know what Amish are. You don't have that in Finland. In Finland, maybe they'll come and start watching our games yeah. more and become fans. I'm like, does he know what Amish are? Did yeah. you see? Did you read the rest <laughs> of that? Because really he was like, I looked it up on Wikipedia, and I do look like an Amish person. Yeah. <laughs> You looked at, on Wikipedia? <laughs> like, you couldn't have gone to, like, Google Images or something? You had to go to Wikipedia for it. Okay. Hey, man, he's new to the internet. That's true. Over here. All That's right? true. Wikipedia his, is His Wi-Fi is wasn't that good. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, I I have Winnipeg in either five or six, pushing it. I have Winnipeg in six. Five, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd probably say Winnipeg in five, maybe six, but yeah. push, say, I'd say five. Yeah. yeah, closer to the five. I I really hope that we're wrong for both of these and they're a lot closer. Yeah, but I, I the first I really, round though is when you kind of see the separation. Yeah, yeah you know? especially, especially the with, past few years, especially with the wild card versus President's Trophy. Like yeah. literally the last team to get into the playoffs versus the first team to get into the playoffs. Yeah. Um. So I mean, I want like close games out of these two series. Yeah. But I want Nashville and Winnipeg to win because I, I you want know the battle. I'd rather them get it done quick, let them both get rested up. <laughs> yeah, no shit. And then just no injuries, yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, go so Central. we're all in agreement. Go Central Nashville, Win- Nashville, Winnipeg. Oh god, yeah. Yeah. All right. Vegas, L.A. This Vegas and L.A. are both tied two one and one in the season series. Mm-hmm. This is gonna um, be a fun series for sure. It's gonna be fun. I got Vegas out in six, or in going. They're moving, moving on, on in six. Yeah, I got Vegas seven. I got LA. You got LA. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Um, in six or seven, I'm not sure, but yeah, I have LA. Um, it's gonna be interesting. I'm picking LA just because they've been there. They've been there. They're playing well. Obviously, Vegas has been playing well all year. They kind of hit a slump as of late, but they're they've been turning it around. <laughs> Giving up four goals to Matt Barkowski last night against yeah. Calgary. Yeah. Exactly. Jeez, um, yeah, seven. Flurry seven with the apple loss. on one of them. Yeah, seven and one loss. Um, but I mean, yeah, they have Flurry in that, and he's been there before. But LA as a team has been there. Um, LA's first in goals against um, in the league, and Vegas is fourth in goals for. So I mean, it's gonna be a Something's good fucking series. Give. Something's gonna give, and LA's first in PK. This, yeah. This. And Vegas was like I think tenth in the power play. So I mean, it's yeah. it's gonna be a good battle, and I I just I'm leaning towards. LA just because the experience and Vegas I think everything's been going so right for them this year and they've had so much hype around their team and it's been awesome but I just don't I I think this is the finally they're gonna they're gonna hit their yeah their wall I I agree but I think it's gonna happen in the second round I don't think it'll happen in the first round I think they'll get I think they'll get past LA Mm -hmm. and then they'll hit their wall in the third round or second I could see LA but here's the thing I'm thinking with Vegas is they've already exceeded expectations. There's no ex- any more expectations for what they're going to do, so they have nothing to lose. Mm-hmm. But these teams playing them have got that, oh, we're going to lose the expansion team kind of thing, you yeah. know? Like, I feel 
Vegas has nothing to lose if they lose. Well, that series. could also go the other they, way around. Exactly. If, you, if you're LA, you're going. There's no way in hell I'm going to lose to this expansion team. And but Vegas, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I think there's more. But pressure Vegas on... could also be in the mindset like, oh, I have nothing to lose, and kind of let their guards down, like the Hawks last year. Exactly. I have absolutely nothing yeah. to lose right now. Like we were the Pacific Division champions. Like, oh, we should be able to beat anybody, and then LA can come in and just and like a, they're two one and one both yeah. on yeah. both sides. So obviously it's been an even fucking series all year. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe LA is just that team that's had Vegas's number all year, or I don't know. But um, that's why I see this one. It going. could go either way. I honestly. think this is going seven, and it can honestly, I would not be surprised with either. And either team. Moving that's on. the thing too. If it goes seven, yeah, Vegas has a good fucking. They have a good crowd going. Absolutely. In there. Things, they get going in front of that crowd. Yeah. So I mean, if it goes seven, it could be Vegas. But I'm I'm still leaning towards LA for this one. Yeah, we'll see. Should be fun. That'll be a fun one for sure. Oh God, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it sucks because all all these two series uh, in the West, the games are so late. I know. So not many people get to view them, which sucks. And I always fall asleep during them, which is also terrible. Yeah, because I like watching every game. Uh, Anaheim, San Jose. San Jose has the upper hand, three zero and one, with Anaheim at one one and two. The interesting here is. We don't know about Gibson. John Gibson. Yeah. But Ryan Miller's been a stud all year long. And he's won the last four in a row for them yeah. at the end of the year. Yeah. He got a shutout in the last game of the year, which makes that his fourth of the year. Gibson had four as well. So um, um, that'll be interesting. Also, it's I've just been looking up like random, like the P- power play, PK, all that shit. And uh, San Jose is second PK. And Anaheim has fifth PK in the uh-huh. league at the end of the year, and Anaheim is fourth in goals against, and San Jose is ninth. So it's going to be a low scoring series yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, both have a lot of offensive threat, but both play defensively very well. And if both goalies are on, mm-hmm. it could be a great series. Yeah. Who do you got? I got Sharks. I got in. Sh- Six. Yeah, I'm saying sharks six or seven. Yeah, I yeah. got sharks and six too. Sharks and six for sure. Um, Anaheim, they've got, they've got, Getzlaff and Perry and Raquel. Kessler and Raquel. Bxa. Bxa. Um, Fowler. I think he's still hurt, isn't he? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Vermet. Yeah. Um, they just lost somebody else recently, a bigger name. They've been injured. Yeah. All year. Um. I think San Jose, they got bounced early last season. Patrick Eads is I'm on not. the IR plus for them, and yeah. BX yeah. is on IR plus for them. Yeah. yeah. But everybody um, else is healthy, it looks like. The, uh, San Jose got bounced early last year after a year of going to the final. and No. After – no, they didn't make the playoffs. I after they, they lost the final. Year. God, everything is just – Yeah, because they, they were fucking really rattled after they lost the final. Interesting. I'm all over the place. My Ver- I'm just going to verify that real quick. Just yeah. to make sure. I know they didn't make it after. I'm pretty sure it was lost. They, they lost the final. 15-16 yeah. was their final year, right? Yeah. Because it was the first year the the Phil Pete. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, they made the playoffs. They were when the, did they? They were the third. They, yeah, I did thought they, they made it. Because it was last year. They Yeah. Edmonton. Oh, yes, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Um. I'm thinking a couple of years ago. I'm thinking I can't remember then. Um, uh, it was they got knocked out, and then that's when Thornton got ripped of the. Yeah, it was when the Kings came back from. Three that's down. They were what down I'm three, thinking of. They were okay. all three zero. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm stupid. And they imploded. Uh, Todd McClellan got gone. canned. Yeah. yeah, Thornton lost his C. Sorry, everyone, for it's being stupid. Um, see, so yeah, I think San Jose's got a little B in their bonnet. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think they just have a little bit more power too. Like that Evander Kane pickup was huge oh yeah. my god and it's his Who first thought yeah. it's his first ever playoff this year yeah he'll be buzzing he's never I, played in the playoffs. i before. wonder if he's gonna kind of have some andrew shaw jitters where he was just all over the place yeah and maybe too much where he like threw the body run the uh i could uh, see he it got in the box too much i could see that but also they have so much veteran like they have so many veterans on that team yeah where Even I think to they cancel out. Well, not cancel out, but make sure he's yeah, in that's true. and calm yeah, that's him true. down. Yeah. 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 
like if he if he starts getting out of hand, they'll be like, hey, yeah, like it's okay, like just we got take it. a minute, take a right. breath. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They don't um, have Thornton; and he's still hurt. Yeah, yeah, but I mean that was nasty too. Yeah. The rest of the squad. Yeah, he's the only one that looks like he's injured right now too. So, um, so and, San Jose and six for everybody, just about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Anaheim could be sneaky, but they could. I still think it's San Jose. Yeah, I don't think they have enough. That's gonna be another. I think they're great too banked up it. too. With that yeah. series is gonna be a fucking blast though. Oh yeah, I think those are like two of the biggest teams mm-hmm. in the league. I don't think they've played each other in the playoffs, have they? It's always usually Anaheim and LA or San LA. Jose and LA. Yeah. yeah, they really don't play each other too no. much. But uh, not that, all, that I can remember. All four of these series in the West. Actually, well, well, we'll get to the East, but all four of these series. Yeah, like, I think these are all fantastic. brand new. I, I like, don't think any of these teams have played each other in no, the playoffs before. No, but like, well, obviously, it's going to be some good hockey. Obviously, Vegas hasn't. Right. Nashville and Colorado haven't. Winnipeg and Minnesota Winnipeg haven't. And Minnesota. I think these and are that's all gonna four be brand great new too because those are fucking – they're right over the border. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a uh, – playoffs are going to be fun this year. I mean, <laughs> at least it's something to look forward to. Yeah, no kidding. That the Hawks aren't in. At so jump – Playoffs going to be a little bit better, though, too, because we don't have that stress of – Yeah, I know. The, watching we the can Hawks. just watch. We can just enjoy. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, this no, guy. yeah. 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 It's all right. We'll have all 18 of our TVs in the apartment set up again, so. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. great. That was amazing. So that was too much almost. Yeah, too much but for the Wi-Fi. Worth it. We need Line A's Wi-Fi. <laughs> it's true. Line it's true. A, come on over, man. Yeah. Bring your Wi-Fi. If, if if you're not kicked out. Yeah, if you're, if, if you're kicked un, out. I mean, on off days. Come yeah. on, Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Just hang out. Uh, jump to the Eastern Conference. Columbus finally doesn't have to play Pittsburgh. Well, yet. Yet, yet. yeah. Um, Columbus and Washington. Uh, Columbus actually owns this series 3-1-0. Columbus does? No, they yeah. don't. Washington's 3-1. and one. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I had that backwards. Washington is 3-1-0. Oh. Washington owns the series. Um, which actually makes a lot more sense now. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Um, this one could be interesting because Braden Holpe is mush at the moment. I don't think he starts. I don't think he does. it. I think it goes to Grubauer. Yeah. Grubauer's been playing well, though. And yeah. he has been playing well. I don't know if it's going to be like Scott Darling taking over for Crawford type thing where when Grubauer goes down or has a bad game or something like that. The Matt Murray, Marc-Andre Fleury. flip around. Yeah, absolutely. Just waiting for the one mistake to give him. Right. I think it will be. Yeah. I but I think, think Grubauer is playing so well that I, know. I don't got, know if it will happen. He's got the yips so bad. <laughs> he's got, like, he does no, have he's, the yips. It's not the yips. It's the cooch. Yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> um, and on the other side, you got Bobrovsky who's – can't seem to he's he's getting the the price yeah this year he's i mean prices. he's the price he's all kinds of my carries. i was talking to my brother about it and he goes bob's gonna be fine in the playoffs bob's gonna be fine i was like how do you know he's never good in the playoffs he well he said he's gonna be fine this year and i was like well how do you know he was like well he he went to a therapist in the off season to talk about the playoffs and i was like Jesus. buddy if he's letting it out that he went oh, to a therapist like God. That makes that's that makes pathetic. it worse. Yes, for him that this makes year. it so much worse. It's so, I agree. It makes it more in his head because yes. then people are going to talk about that uh-huh. he went to a therapist, and then he's going to hear about that, and he's uh-huh. oh, I'd be chirping him. Yeah. I mean, hey, like, how's your shrink? Uh-huh. I'd go up to him for like an hey, you going to see the therapist after this uh-huh. one or what's going on, man? Like uh-huh. holy fuck, his playoff career record in eighteen games played, three and ten. <laughs> With a .887 save percentage and a 3.63 goals against average. Oh, Jesus Trev. Christ. Sorry, against, buddy. Against the Caps. Yeah. And Ovi's. Cannon. Yeah. 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 Yikes. And you thought playing Pittsburgh was bad. No. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck playing Washington. Um, Another interesting thing to look out for is Panarin. Mm-hmm. Yes. Two. Well, not only. One mediocre playoff appearance and one just really, really poor one so far. Yeah. So I'm interested to see if he can kind of figure it out after breaking, paving paving the way this year for Columbus and breaking two records. Yeah, um, I'm also interested to watch Seth Jones. Yes, because he's he's going to be good. He had a great he well, had a great year. year. He could he him could, and Wierenski. Yeah, he could be potentially up for a uh, Norris in the next couple of years. Yeah. And is uh, he? It's definitely going to be interesting to see. Is he healthy? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. He was know, yeah. he was hurt a couple of times at yeah, the end of the year. Yeah, because I know he was sure like he was having out. like people were talking about him for Norris, and then he got hurt. Yeah. Um, but yeah, who you guys got? 
I got Washington in six. I got Washington in five. Yeah, I got six. Six. Washington. Yeah. Seems like Columbus always gets one or two. So that's another I mean, place Wash- where they, they get good fans going and yeah. the place gets bumping. Yeah. They got that cannon and fucking mm-hmm. scares the shit out of goalies, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, I I, I, I just think Ovi, Ovi's on a mission this year. Ovi's on a yeah. uh, is Kuznetsov still hurt? Um, I don't know. He scored just the other day. Let me check. But I, I know he was hurt and they were just yeah. resting him. Let I don't know if they were keeping him out though or not. Quick. Yeah, but most of these guys that are hurt are, are playing. Oh, they're playing, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's just a matter of how to what person. Like. Right, yeah. Um, roster. What are the chances that Burkowski pulls off another disgusting goal like he did against St. Louis? Uh, I don't know. Pretty high, I guess. Yeah. He's not listed as injured Strophy. on their website, so. Oh, well, that's good. Um, how uh, How many bingos does Wilson get? Wilson? Yeah. Oh, Tom Wilson. Yeah. Oh. Wilson. Who the hell is Wilson? Honestly, he's had a career year this year. I know. He might get he he, might get two or three. He popped in a couple last year in the playoffs in Toronto. Fucking Jim. Yeah, he might get two or three. Fourteen goals, twenty one assists, thirty five points from this year. Yeah. It's not not too shabby for a grinder. So that makes five brand new playoff um matchups. As of late. Ever. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then we go to Asterisk Pittsburgh. Next to Anaheim, San Jose. Potentially. Asterisk Potentially, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we go to Pittsburgh, Philly, which is just fantastic. I am so ready for that. As much as uh, as we say that this is, we, we this don't want to see. This is the one see, that I'm okay yeah. with. Yes, 100% absolutely. Okay. Because this is going to be an absolute bloodbath yes. to the very end. And Fuck I him. want Claude Giroux to knock Sidney Crosby down seven seconds into the game oh again and go God. bar down. Dude. On uh, uh, Murray, <laughs> I almost said Flurry because that's what happened. Mark Andre, Mark Andre Murray. Murray. Yeah, yeah. Um, didn't they lose that game? I don't remember. I think they lost. I that just game. remember but that that was electric. They, yeah, that was fucking unbelievable. Um, yeah, this good for is... Philadelphia. First of all, to make the playoffs after losing, going on that ten game losing streak this year. Yeah, well, not only that, they had a fucking like twelve game winning streak yeah. too, or something yeah, like that. Like, like they were all over the place. Um, they've had what four different goalies this year. Um, just like uh, ab- they turned like they were one of the best teams, and then they turned into an absolute shit show, and um, barely made it into the playoffs. Almost had that eighty third game against the Flyers, but oh, Giroux so came out and fucking was the ultimate captain and put up three bingos against the Rangers to win five nothing to guarantee their spot in the playoffs yeah. this year. Um, so yeah, I mean they're fucking firing all, on all cylinders right now. But season series four and zero goes to Pittsburgh. Um, yeah. Two of them are in overtime. So yeah, and not only that, Pittsburgh's first power play unit and third in goals goals four. Mm-hmm. Not to mention Sid's feeling it right now. Phil's feeling it. Malkin. They, I, I, everybody thought they were gonna be tired this year, and at the beginning of the year they did look like yeah. they yeah. were tired, and now they're. They're flying right they now. They look like Pittsburgh. And they look like they could win the fucking third in a row. I don't know how much longer they can. This this is going to be taxing. Oh, yeah. Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah. This, this is, is going to take a lot out of them. And not only that, if they get past them and they end up playing Washington again, I mean, yeah, they're just, in the back of Washington's head, but it's every year it gets closer and just, closer. Yeah. How much hockey they've played, too, in the mm-hmm. past three years now. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how much longer they can last. I think um, it was like they've played 49 extra games in the past two seasons or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, but they Everybody always find do, the gear. Yeah, yeah they like, always find a way. Yeah. It's like if any team's going to do it, though, it's it's going yeah, to be it's gonna be them. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be Crosby leading the way too. And I um, don't want it. But not only that, how is Murray going to hold up? I know. I mean, he's he, only been in the league for th- this is his third season. He's going to the playoffs again. And he gets hurt a lot. And he does get hurt a lot, and they don't have Flurry to back up. No, they don't. Because the last two years, Casey at one point, Smith. they had to throw Flurry in to <clears> cover Murray's yeah. ass. Yeah. So there's a lot of factors that yeah. go both ways, really. Because, I mean, then you throw Elliott in or do you throw uh, Mrazic No, in? God, it's Mrazic. But they threw Elliott in the last game of the season against the Rangers when they needed a win. I don't know why they did that. So today. It's got to be Mrazic. That's the whole reason they got him. I, I, it has to be. I don't if, know. if not, so, I mean, they, they shot themselves in the foot and they're going to get down early. But, I mean, not only that, but, I mean, Mrazic versus Murray. Yeah. It's a lot closer. Yeah. 
either way, it's it's close. Yeah. You know? The goal I don't think the goaltending is gonna be that great in this series. I don't no. think so either. This is gonna be a high scoring series. Yep. Watch every game's one nothing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um I got Pittsburgh seven. Pittsburgh seven. Um Yeah, I got Pitt and six. Six? You don't think it's going seven? No. They're really gonna piss off those Philly fans in, in six. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Um, now, here's where it gets interesting because... As of recording right now. Yeah, we have no idea what the final two matches are going to look like. So we're going to go through all four of them. Starting out with Tampa. Tampa could potentially be playing Toronto or New Jersey based on uh, who if Boston, Boston, wins yeah, Boston wins tonight. Against the Panthers. Against the Panthers, correct. So let's go with Tampa versus Toronto, which means that Boston would have won the division. Correct. Yeah. So, so Tampa would, versus Toronto. Boston needs two points tonight. No, I think even is it two points no matter they what? They need two points. Yeah. So because uh, Tampa has the win has more wins and more row. Gotcha. Yeah, that's okay. right. Um. Yeah, because they have like fifty nine wins and like Boston has forty or something. Like fifty fifty four to Boston's fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was a lot closer than I thought, but still. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. That's it's why still they, stupid. They should go to three points this time. I agree. Because mm-hmm. Tampa would have ran away with it then, which yeah. they should have. But yeah. whatever. Uh, so Tampa versus Toronto. Uh, Tampa, Tampa is three one and zero, whereas Toronto is one two and one in that series, the season series at least. Um, this one, um, I know Toronto fans would rather see this than Boston. Am I incorrect in saying that? Uh, a lot of people are saying that. I honestly don't have an idea. Who I, would, I don't think as a Toronto fan, I don't know who I they would rather play. I don't think there's play. like a better well, route. A lot to of go, people are you know? a lot of people are saying that they would think that Toronto would rather play Tampa because they play more of the same style. Uh, they're both running on teams, high scoring. Um, whereas Boston is defensively all, sound. Well, they're all around any. They could play any type of game. They could be physical. They could be finesse. They could yeah. fucking outscore you. They could out hit you. Like they could do anything. Uh, they're more versatile. Um, so they're saying there's more of a chance of Toronto outscoring Tampa than out offensing Boston's defense. Yeah. But saying that Toronto's a good fucking team. Mm-hmm. Or Tampa. I mean, Tampa's yeah. a good fucking team. I mean, they're fucking front end, they're back end, they're goaltending, just all around. And they should have ran away with it uh-huh. this year. And they, they took their did. foot off the gas. And yeah, exactly. And that's kind of another reason. Maybe Toronto would want to play them because mm-hmm. you don't know what you're going to get in, the, right. in that Tampa first round. Tampa Bay so. is 5 4 and 1 in their last 10. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And they played Toronto in that last 10, I believe. They just recently played them. Uh, uh, they last played them on the 20th. Yeah. And they lost. Toronto Toronto lost, but they were up 3 yeah, they, nothing. They, yeah, and they, they blew gave it. that away. Um, Another thing is Stamkos has been resting for yeah. about a week and a half, two weeks. Mm. So that's going to be huge. He'll be rested. If they can, if Stamkos and Kucherov can get going again, oof, yeah, yep, that's and that's if scary. Vasilevsky's on his game, oh god, yeah. Um, but then again, on the other end, Toronto, yeah, yeah, if, it's it's Willie, been a record season for them Willie, all over the place. If Willie Austin and fucking Marner can play their games, and Anderson can play on top of his head, yeah, that's watch out, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Toronto's a good fucking team, mm-hmm. and they're not even. At their peak yet. Yeah. So, saying that, if this is the first round, who do you guys got? I got Tampa 7. I'm saying 7 no matter what, and I keep flip-flopping between the two, but I'm going to take Toronto. Yeah, I'm saying Toronto on 7. Mm-hmm. I, think I, this is, I think this is their Hawks year to go to the conference final. Toronto. I think, yeah. It's... I think that Tampa is going to wake up. I think Tampa's going to wake up just in time for the playoffs. But is it going to be? I think enough? it's going to go back and forth yeah. for sure. I think it's 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 going to be one of those everybody wins a game at home type series. I think this whole like scenario, like you know the four, it's yeah. this it's all tough. Oh yeah. yeah, this was the hardest one trying to like figure yeah. out for me. Um, so if Tampa plays Bo- uh, Toronto, excuse me, uh, Boston would play New Jersey. Uh, Boston. Is three zero and zero in that where New Jersey's zero two and one? I think Boston comes out of there with that one for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd I'd say in six six. 
for sure. But um, yeah, which Boston is upsetting for Taylor one. Hall because yeah, I wanted to do well. There's too many questions though. I think with New Jersey too. I mean, I don't think goaltending situation. Goal Schneider and Kincaid. Yeah, Kincaid yeah. has been unbelievable, yeah. but no real playoff experience, if any. And then him, th- just thinking him against Rask. Yeah, and Rask is. You know, and although he's got good D in front of him, but I love me a Tuka tantrum. I really do. Oh yeah. well, yeah, I'm sure Who there's going to be at least one. Yeah. Um, yeah, but Boston, ever since they uh, fired their head coach last year, right? And uh, Claude son, Julian, yeah, yeah. and uh, got the new one this year, or last year. Uh, been they've been they've had beast. the most points out of any team since that point. Yeah, they've it's like, had the most wins or something yeah. like that since then too, and. They should not be where they're at right now. They've Potential. only lost 19 games in regulation this year. Yeah. I know. Like, going into the season, nobody thought that they would be where they're at. They thought it would be more of a rebuild year. And I thought if there fucking... would be anything, it would be wild card. Exactly. And now they have the potential. They're two points away from first overall in their division. Yeah. And and in the conference. Yeah. In the conference, yeah. So, yeah. Fuck. Good for them. Uh, Ryan Donato. Does he keep on scoring? Yeah. That kid's good. Yeah. He's really fucking good. And um, just him playing with the offensive threat that they have, the scumbag Marchand, um, Bergeron, um, Pasta. Like, they, they they have a good team. How long I hate until to say he, it because I fucking hate the Bruins. But how long until this Marchand does something stupid? First game? Depends on who they play. Yeah. Toronto. Right oh, away. yeah, Toronto. It'll be first first couple minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah. He'll be going after Kadri. Yeah. Um. So, Noli, you and I, Boston in six. Jerem? I'm going to say Boston five. Five? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right. Um, All right, so let's flip-flop it. Boston versus Toronto. Remake of the uh, 2013. This is the one I want so bad. It's a dagger to the heart. I yeah. Just because just I want to see this matchup. I love the original six. And this is it's, this is a hated. Yeah, and like. Hated uh-huh. rivalry. This is, om- like, this is old school Blackhawk Red Wing. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just yeah, like you said, original six Toronto, Boston, and Toronto is gonna want it. And Toronto won the season series three one, three to one, um, but three one and zero. Oh, sorry, there's, there's Boston still, was one two. There's one. still guys on the team for the 2013 year, mm-hmm. and they're gonna fucking want vengeance. Mm-hmm. And after last year, being so close to almost knocking off the Caps, who yeah. they shouldn't have even had a chance against. Yeah, yeah. they're gonna be buzzing. Um, but so is Boston. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, like we were just talking about, they, they shouldn't be here. Um, they're proving everybody wrong mm-hmm. by being one of the best teams since halfway through last year, and yeah. they're going to be wanting it too. I think merely on the fact that they all remember 2013, the fans all remember 2013, I think Toronto's going to come out of there with it in seven. Yeah, I'm taking Toronto seven. Yep. I take Toronto over Boston. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. oh, I thought you said Toronto or Boston. Like, well, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the <laughs> no. choice. <laughs> yeah, either one. I mean, um, it's going seven no matter what, I think. Take I your know. Leafs fan hat off for a minute. I'll say six. Six? Because I think it'll be a 3 2 series. So you think going they'll do it in Toronto and they'll do it in Toronto, the win uh-huh. in Toronto. Interesting. Okay. Because whenever I do these, I'm like, oh, it'll be six or seven. And then, like, you got to take into fact where they're at. Yeah. And I think if the Leafs have the three-two lead in Toronto, it's going to be very hard to get their road going to blow. Their, yeah, and that's another thing about the Leafs is they blow so many leads. I know if they're in Toronto and they blow a lead, <laughs> remind you of something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> then you're gonna have to go Game Seven in Boston. Yeah. yeah. Good luck. So, I, I yeah, I gotta say Toronto. I think it's their year to go far. Not win it, but go far. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Tampa, New Jersey. Tampa. Yeah. I think this one might go six, maybe five. I think it's only going to go five. Yeah. I really hope New Jersey, whoever they play, make a fucking series. Yeah. Of it. Just because they, they deserve it. Here's like, the thing. I could see it being like Toronto last year with Washington. With New Jersey, you know, it's no one's scarier than, them. Yeah. Yeah. It is, yeah. New uh, Jersey was three and zero against Tampa this year. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah. So uh, who knows? Yeah. They might have their number. They might. Yeah. Could be. An, could be an interesting first round matchup. Yeah, and like we've been saying, the way Tampa's been playing as of late, who knows? And New Jersey's been a good team. Yeah. All year. I mean, um, 
they're yeah, a good team. I just think everybody that they have the potential to face is a better team. But and going back to what you were saying about Vegas, like they have nothing to lose. Right. So and Toronto last year, they have nothing to lose. And nobody's you know, nobody's and, gonna pick them. But that's why hockey playoffs is so great too, because mm-hmm. it's not like NBA where it's like it's guaranteed. Guaranteed these right. teams are gonna go on. Yeah. Anything can happen with this, so which yeah. makes it awesome. But yeah, I say Tampa. I say six. Mm-hmm. Interesting. All right. What is the first round matchup you guys are are circling? Pit Philly. Yeah. Pit yeah, Philly and whoever Toronto plays. Yeah. Because I feel like that's because it, if it's Toronto Boston, like you said, original six, it's gonna be great. Yeah. And uh, if it's Toronto Tampa, that's just gonna be offensive yeah. versus offense, and it's gonna be great. But then and then Pit Philly. Yeah. I'm gonna say Vegas and LA too, just because I want to yeah. s- see what playoff atmosphere is gonna be like with that LA She's, or with Vegas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had uh, either the Toronto one, the Pittsburgh one, or Pittsburgh or Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. And it's all gonna be fun to be honest and with you. Winnipeg. Just see Winnipeg. Winnipeg. Yeah, just to yeah. see the atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. Um, who has the most to lose? Nashville. Washington. I said Washington or Tampa. Why Washington though? They I, literally they they don't, lose I, they lose. It's it's. I think this is the year they clean house. I think the coach is gone. They're making yeah. some big roster changes. This like, is the year that Washington was supposed to miss the playoffs, and they surprised everybody. And they yeah, made it. exactly. So but why 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 should they have anything to lose? They shouldn't be here. The like, fact nobody thought no, that the they would do that. because of that exactly. Yeah. The fact and the fact that they're but that's exactly that what happened with Vegas, and you guys are like, oh well, they got nothing to lose. It's different though. There's there was no like. It, it's because Washington has the history behind it. Got, Vegas has no history behind it. Yeah, but I it's the same. The it's a completely scenario. different scenario. Eh. It's the here's the thing. It's the same scenario, but it's a completely different scenario. Eh. The fact that they're not negotiating new contracts with any of their players, with Trots, like they're not doing any of that. They're waiting to see how the playoffs go. They're get they're they're sick and tired of losing second round. You know, like if they don't get past the second round, God forbid they don't get past the first round. It's they. It's gonna that team's getting blown up. Yeah, but. One, they shouldn't have been here. Two, they'll probably get past the first round, maybe the second round. Who knows, honestly? But if you lose again and you have to clean house, it's it's overdue anyway. All those presence trophies you won, and you couldn't get past the second round, and then you finally aren't the top seed, aren't expected to win the cup this year, and mm-hmm. you make it in, and just okay, okay, like we got first, like awesome, and now we play the Blue Jackets, like, and if we not get knocked out second round against Pittsburgh again. Now is the time. Like, uh, if anything, it should have been last year. Last year was their fucking year. This year's not their year. They're not expected to fucking no, go I, in the cup. Yeah, and I understand that from an outside. But I think if you're looking at from a Washington fan base and a Washington organization, they have the like the most to lose. Like, I think. Yeah. It, it's like, but that, the thing is, it's just a matter of due time for that. Everybody, everybody's getting no, old, and if yeah, that's fair, they don't have a cup by now. It's yeah. it's assumed that it's gonna get fucking blown up. It's like if the Hawks would have made it this far and not won a cup, then I w- I'd be pissed. They yeah. should all be gone. Yeah. Who did you say? I said Nashville. Why do you say that? Let me. Because President's Trophy winners went to the final last year, and um, they should have. It's not gonna be an easy path, but. I have the feeling I think everybody down there assumes they win the cup this year. Yeah. All those fans down there, like after losing it, being heartbroken last year, I think it's them. See, I, I, either them or Tampa. My yeah. disagreement because Tampa, like, yeah, my disagreement with Nashville with is their window is just opening up. The, which, yeah, I understand that because so, yeah, they'll be there for a couple of years, yeah. but it doesn't like okay, like you can expect to be there every year. Not many teams do though. It's. The, it's kind of tougher. Like, I'm trying, I'm trying to think of the, like the best way to put this. Why I think Washington is because this could potentially be the last time for a while. You know, this could be the last chance for a while. That's why they have a lot to lose. Tampa, they're still going to be there. Nashville's still going to be there. Um, yep. Yeah, but Tampa went to the final and then didn't even make the playoffs. So. Doesn't mean they're going to be there every Fair. year. Yeah. There's injuries. Well, Stamkos Washington, gets hurt a lot. Like Washington, it's you don't know. Like you can't guarantee that some team's going to be there every single year. There's only slim chance of making it and doing it. 
I, my big thing is that it's you brought up the whole Vegas thing. Mm-hmm. It's just com- a completely different. No, it really you know? is. Yeah. It really I mean, is because they started from scratch and Washington's right. been one of the best teams in the league for right. years. I understand. I, I feel like that that enough is. I mean, they've got more pressure on their shoulders than any team. But I think I this feel, is the one year that they playoff. don't. They don't have any pressure on them this year. This is I think Tampa. Un- this until, is Tampa and Nashville's year. Until they get past the second round. I think they will always have pressure on yeah. their shoulders. Yeah, I mean that's fair, the but the fact that that's, they make that's that's more. I feel no like matter this if, year it's internal. No matter if they every crawl year into the it's playoffs, from external. It's not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I understand that. Yeah. This year, like it's just in the back of their head this yeah. year. But last year it was everybody pushing. Yeah. All the years before it's them pushing. Like, oh, they're not going to get past the second round. And this year it's like, oh, well, I mean, if they get to the we second round, there, awesome, yeah. man. Okay, I guess I can kind of see that. You know? That's just where I'm coming from. Yeah. I can guess. you be an argument too that Pittsburgh's got a lot to lose here? The three peat? I mean I would say no because yeah. everybody assumes that they're gonna be fucking dead. Dead. Yeah. yeah. And if they win it three years in a row, it's like they're not gonna do it fourth. Yeah. And if they do, then it'll, it'll be the same situation that we're in this year. Yeah. Where it's yeah. like, oh fuck, look at these fucking dragons. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um who could be a Cinderella? Toronto. Vegas. I don't know if I could necessarily call Toronto a Cinderella after a record-breaking season that they already had. And they're still third in their division, and they have to go through two of the best teams in the league. That's just poor division for them, though. I mean, poor. Yeah, but I mean, uh, (laughs) nobody. (laughs) I would, I because I say that because they're expected. I guess I wouldn't technically be surprised if they went to the final. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. I understand that, but I, I'm just like saying because I don't feel like many people are going to pick them if they play Boston or Tampa to yeah. win, and if they have to be play both of them and they beat both of them and they make it to the conference final. If if that happens, I'll just order you your jersey. Then, because, like, <laughs> what's the point? I mean, because then they're they're going up against one of Pittsburgh, Philly, Columbus, or Washington. Yeah, and I think they'd stand a good chance. Absolutely. If they play Washington, they're going to the want first round is their big year. hurdle. Well, first two. Yeah. If they get through Tampa or Boston, and then they have to play Tampa or Boston. Oh, that's true. Round. Yeah. And then you get to the conference final, you're playing one of Washington. Who, oh, my God. Who you want to fucking destroy from last year. Pittsburgh, who's going to be exhausted as fuck. Philly, who's going to be probably you beat up. Plus Pittsburgh. Yeah, and Pittsburgh, Columbus. you want to be the team that knocks out the... Exactly. Back-to-back Honestly, if it's exactly. Columbus, look out. Yeah. If it's Columbus, Toronto. I think out of, out of the, the four final, of those, be crazy. look out for Columbus. Yeah. But I don't think that would... Yeah, it's happen. not. But uh, I mean, it, it, yeah. it, I, it's playoffs. Anything can fucking happen. Yeah, no kidding. But yeah, I would. I mean, I would say Toronto, Philadelphia. I think could be a Philly could center. be a sleeper. Yeah. yeah, Philly definitely could be a sleeper team. I had Vegas yeah, just because I, their whole season has been Cinderella up to this point. <laughs> NHL. What's gonna stop it? Yeah. 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 We were talking about it the other day. This is like almost like the Coyotes going to the conference final. The one year that the NHL owned them. Yeah. All over again. <laughs> we need this team to do Bull. well. Shite. Who wins it? Takes it home. I'm going to say what I want to see, but it's not going to happen. I want to see Toronto Winnipeg in the final. Mm-hmm. Mm. That would be a great final. And then I think Toronto would take it. Mm. What do you think is actually going to happen? It'll probably be Nashville versus... Um, Pittsburgh rematch. Yeah. I think it's going to be Pittsburgh or Tampa. Versus Nashville. It's like I want to say Nashville, but the present trophy never wins. We I don't want to see. Up, I don't. We looked see. it up last last night. Four yeah. of the last eighteen President's trophy winners have won. Yeah. And the last one was what the Hawks. Yeah. yeah. In twenty thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. And that was shortened season and everything, but it still counts. Like I have nothing against Nashville anymore. It's strictly like I just don't. I would rather see a team like you wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Like I would love to see the Winnipeg. I would love to see. Honestly, I would love to see Nashville win. I don't. Yeah, know. I would too. It'd be 100%. fucking nuts down there. I don't see them as a team that's. I don't hate them like I do Minnesota it, yeah. or something like that. I don't see them as a team that's going to take it lightly. I think that yeah. they have one goal. No pun intended. Nice. They have one goal. It started back in October. And, it started last year. Yeah, no kidding. And they're not going to stop at anything until mm-hmm. they get there. 
I mean, they have that kind of mentality. They have that kind of group. It it almost reminds me of, yeah, of the I'll, old Hawks yeah, team. I'll rephrase you that. Know? I wouldn't be upset if it's Nashville. I think I just would much rather. See I just don't want them to win back to back like yeah. Pittsburgh. Yeah, fuck that. I, like get your one and done and get out yeah, of here. Get the hell out. Of I here. think I just would rather see Winnipeg go yeah. than Nashville. I think I'd rather see Nashville than Winnipeg right now. Mm-hmm. I don't. I want to see Winnipeg do well, but I don't at the same time because I feel like I'm just gonna hate Winnipeg. Going I just hate against that. The, like, I just hate the Hawks all these teams are in our division. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, um, uh, I gotta go with Nashville just because it's the smart pick, and I'm a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I've got Nashville, Tampa in the final, and I I don't. know. Everybody changing from Edmonton to Nashville. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I was gonna I say I don't know who takes that Here, out of those two, but I don't think Tampa is gonna make the final. I think they will. This I, think is, I think they'll wake up. This is what we said for the season, Everybody said Edmonton, the season Tampa. preview. Yeah. Noli had Tampa versus Edmonton yeah. with Tampa winning. Potes, Tampa versus Edmonton with Tampa winning. I said Pittsburgh, Edmonton with Edmonton winning. Tanner said Tampa Bay versus Chicago with Tampa Bay winning. Yikes. Yikes, Tanner. Sorry, Tan, man. Well, I guess saying Edmonton isn't much better. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> it just hurts a little more. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Maybe Tampa. It's fucking... Not only that, it's fucking silly season. And not only is it silly season, it's fucking the silliest and season of silly season. I was going to say, this has been the most ridiculous season. Yeah. Up and down. Since the start of our fantasy draft. Since since the beginning of time. <laughs> since the beginning of time. <laughs> fantasy champion, baby. Yeah. Shut up. It's an asterisk. It's not. It doesn't count. It's It's not. a shortened season. It's not. Shortened season asterisk. It's not. You I, killed the mood. Yep. <laughs> Don't kill the bar, dude. Just, we love the bar. I was just thinking about the trophy. Yeah. Hopefully, I gotta get that for me soon. Oh yeah, I gotta find it. <laughs> Take a shit in there real quick. <laughs> oh maple, no. <laughs> maple, why are oh, you eating? Darn there? it! Why did you do that? No. Oh. All right. Uh, I think that. Well, uh, let us know what you guys think. Yeah. Let us know who you. Got in the first round. Obviously, do the playoff bracket yep. challenge. Remember, yep. playoff bracket challenge, first WCB place. WCB podcast. Yep. And, Get uh, some nice little merch package. We'll throw some yes, more sir. prizes in there. I'm already working on a couple, so we'll see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, let us know who you guys got in the final and who you think should win. Yeah. Who you want to win. And um, please don't come crying to us because the Hawks aren't in it because we're mm-hmm. already crying enough. <laughs> yeah, I know. Might have a fun episode next one, too. Maybe. Yeah. Why? For a little event. It's a surprise. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. So we'll see how that goes. We'll da, 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 da. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Are uh, you going to the mall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about it today. Uh, playoff preview. Uh, I'm excited. Yeah. Should be a real, real best, fun, best real fun postseason. Year. Best so. time in the year. Number 33, the Bifuglian in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. He is. He is, actually. How about that? How about it? How about that? All right, for Pokes. <laughs> Why didn't we never get this down? Andrew? No, no. I did this last time, and you guys <laughs> yelled at me. No, 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 Yes, no, I no. did. No. Yes, you I absolutely up. did. Okay, it's Pokes, Noli, and Jim. We're out of here. We're going to go fucking you fight. You piece of shit. That's pretty aggressive. Follow the guys on Twitter at WCBP, on Instagram, WCB Podcast, and like them on Facebook, the Windy City Benders Podcast. The Windy City Benders Podcast.